Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Breakfast at Tracy's. It is Saturday. You might be relaxing now. I hope you know that you have a great day ahead of you planned. Uh, the theme for this week and for next week is God's compassion because when you are convinced God's, God loves you, you will choose him and I want you to choose him. Today's lesson is God matches your tears and it, it's from a, a tiny line that has so much meaning in the book of Psalms. I want to share it with you. It often uh, it may be overlooked but I want you to be aware of this verse. It says, it's a very short verse. It says, the Lord cares deeply when his loved ones die. It doesn't matter, you know, if, you, if you're a news watcher like I am, it doesn't matter what disaster, whether it was 9-11 or the tsunami of 2004 in Thailand or the Vegas shooting or COVID, the question is always the same. Where is God? And the idea behind that question is that God is absent, that death, destruction means nothing to God. He's cold, uncaring, stoic. He's, he's very, uh, very properly British uh, for many people, you know, doesn't show emotion and doesn't get uh, too involved in that sort of thing. But when we look at the life of Jesus, we see someone quite different. Jesus actually got angry, angry at death. At the, at the tomb of Lazarus, Jesus was angry at death. And, and it said Jesus wept. This is the kind of God that is. This is the real God. A God who weeps. A God who cries. A God who cares. And he doesn't just care a little. It says in this verse, he cares deeply. There is a depth of God's love for you. And especially when people are suffering. And especially when people die. You are not just a number. You know, I remember my first year at the University of Alberta and I went from being known in the classroom where the prof would know my name or my teacher would know my name in high school to all of a sudden I was just a number. That's all I was. No one cared to know my name. I was just number blah 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 blah. But you are not a number to God and his people are not just numbers to God. He cares. It says even when they die he is there matching tear for tear with the rest of us and it says his loved ones and this is talking especially God cares about those who are in a covenant relationship with him who've made that commitment to him who've said all of me for all of you always that is the relationship that God wants with each of us and if you're listening to this and you've never made that covenant relationship you can do that right now you can turn away from your sins and say God I want all of you for all of me for all time and then God has a very special relationship with you it says the Lord cares deeply when his loved ones die and this is especially true of those who have that covenant relationship where is God when one of his loved ones die he's crying he's crying with the rest of us who are left behind God has deep feelings and he knows grief and here's the little secret that many people don't realize God aches for heaven too. God aches for heaven too. He's looking forward to the day where all things will be restored and we can he can be our God and we can be his people. This all for me uh, for all of you always. That is what God wants. This is his heart's desire for you throughout this day and for the rest of your life. Isn't it wonderful? Isn't it wonderful that God cares deeply? Even when his loved ones die, God is never absent. He's not cold. He's not uncaring. He cries and he gets angry at death and he longs for heaven too. Let's, let's pray. God, I thank you that we are not alone in our grief, that when loved ones, our loved ones die, it's not meaningless to you. It's not just a number. It's not, it's not nothing to you. It matters to you because you care so deeply about people. God, I'm so grateful that you are a compassionate God who loves people and especially loves the people in covenant relationship with you. I know, God, that you feel loss. And I know that you are with us in our darkest times and you care when we are going through difficult times. God, if there's someone who's watching this today and they're going through a especially difficult time, I ask that you would reveal to them powerfully that you are weeping with them. That this matters to you. 
They are not lost on you. Every person matters to you, especially those in that covenant relationship with you. God, we worship you. We praise you as our God of compassion and the God of all comfort. You are worthy of everything in our lives, all for us, for all of you, always. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Have a great day. I'll see you for the service tomorrow.